Hey, it's Jason again with Mishimoto. Welcome to part seven of our video review series for the 2016 Camaro SS. Today we're going to go over the rear suspension system of the vehicle. The uh, 2016 Camaro SS uses a multi-link rear suspension. Uh, a little bit different than the fifth generation. It's a uh, slightly different design, but it still works pretty well. So I'll walk you through each part of the main pieces and what they do. The main lower control arm is similar to other rear multi-link suspension setups. Uh, it supports the uh, spring and the shock. And up here, up front at the knuckle, it features a pillow ball bushing for less uh, binding as suspension moves for a little bit better handling. Camaro SS only, uh, especially with this package, it features this tow link that controls the toe of the wheels and it features pillow ball bushings on both sides for less binding and no toe changes as the suspension goes up and down, which will affect handling also. The, uh, the base Camaro V6 and the four cylinder both get a toe link with just rubber bushings that don't feature any kind of like non-compliance movement like a, like a pillow ball bushing. So if you have a V6 or a four cylinder, this would be a good upgrade as a factory replacement to, you know, make the handling a little bit better as you go around corners. The uh, rear sway bar is a 26, about 26 and a half millimeter rear sway bar, and it ties to the rear knuckle with this uh, beefy end link here. So the aftermarket, you can definitely upgrade this to probably like a 30 millimeter sway bar for added handling. Also, the uh, rear knuckle is aluminum for, again, less unsprung weight and uh, a little bit less weight overall and the uh, rear wheel bearings are bolt-in, they're not pressing like other vehicles, so servicing the rear end of this car would be pretty easy once it gets down to it. The rear differential and the rear subframe are, are both supported by rubber bushings. The uh, rear differential has like three bushings, one in the rear, two in the front, and those are definitely upgradable for added traction and uh, responsiveness in the driveline. And the subframe up here, and over there has four different attachment points to the uh, frame of the car. And those look like, like rubber bushings that can either be replaced by inserts or a full urethane bushing for added traction and handling. All right, we have another view of the rear suspension here. You can see the, uh, the uppermost control arms, this uh, upper control arm and this upper semi-trailing arm. And another thing you see is with these, uh, these semi-trailing links, both the upper and the lower, these things are really, really flimsy looking. So if you're gonna build any kind of serious power or go to the drag strip a lot, you definitely wanna upgrade these and the bushings on the inside as well. That covers part seven of our video review series for the 2016 Camaro SS. Stay tuned for part eight, where we go over the front and rear braking system of the Camaro.